your home is his dwelling. So I have to pray with my pastor, y'all. If y'all could just see some of the things that God showed you, you have a reason to pray. To cast down evil things that is trying to come his way. You got to keep him under the cover of the blood of Jesus. And that's why I said, Lord, you give me a pastor and a wife off of your own heart. You did. I've been blessed ever since I've been here. I came in under him from television. Watching him over television, and I said, Lord, it's something about that man. And I knew then God was going to send me this word. So I said, Lord, I need somewhere to send my time. I started tiding over the over, the, over, the, over television, just spending my time. Wow. So when I got through doing that, God said, Go there. That's your church. Wow, look at that. Amen. Amen. And when he asked me to pray with him, sometimes you don't, well, you don't really have to ask me because I'm going to do it anyway. Yeah, you pick it but up. when he asked us to help pray, yeah. and then a lot of times he don't ask, I just pick it up. Yeah, what do you see over the month of December? Pastor, I see blessings, really. Blessings. Yeah. Because when I was in that closet praying, God was telling me, he said, how? Say unto me, I have given you power. There you go. Power in my Lord. Power in my friend. Power in my Savior. Yes. All this is going on in my closet. And Sister Sue, I just got this young lady down here. Yes. I work at home. I pray at home. And I'm reaching out. I'm asking God to send people in here. And God is going to send them. He's doing it. Yes. But what he's getting ready to do is give us more power. Yes. Yeah. Give a lot of hand clap for that. 